Hey YTPC, this is just going to be a, a quick VR to Willie, Uncle Willie. He asked, uh, what did we use for our carry options when we take pipes out to the field? So I'm going to show that. Smoking some Turek. It's another new HU African line blend I got in. It's amazing stuff. So they'll, I'll be giving my second first impressions on that in a video shortly and the 7LA673KS Roma So without further ado, I'm going to switch over to the shop cam and give you some close-ups of the two pipe pouches. Okay, here are my two EDC or carry pouches for pipes. Now, the first one I got, and I did a dedicated video on it is this Whitlux waxed canvas pouch, which is really nice and perfect for an overnight, like if you go into a hotel or something. It can hold to up to two pipes. I usually just take one pipe for a short trip, pipe cleaner, tamper tool. It does have a unlined pouch where you can put a sandwich baggie with some tobacco in there or keep this separate. You can't really roll this into it. And I know Willie said he didn't, he was worried about his pipes falling out. Well, this particular model does come with snaps. So you shouldn't have to worry about losing that. Now, of course, your tamper but once you roll it up this thing stays pretty secure but I can see where you have a concern that maybe something would fall out but with one pipe I think with two pipes it'd be a stretch holds it nice no nothing really falls out too much so that's uh this was my first option that I bought, and this is the Max Pedition. I'm not sure which one. I'll make sure I put it up on the screen. It's got a little carry handle. It's got three rows of webbing there. Got some morale patch Velcro, and it's got a Velcro mesh baggy on the front. And in here you got a deep pocket there, key ring loop, multiple options of elastic bands there. Holds three pipes very nicely. Again, there's another pocket back here. So if you didn't have this in there, you could actually get four pipes in there. Now there's no no real... It, it's got a little bit of a rigid edge to it here. So it does keep it from collapsing in. But there's no impact protection. So just... Just be aware of that. There's a little bit on the back side, but not. Protect your pipes. Don't uh, don't beat them up. Don't throw them around. But this is a really, really nice, a little bit larger option. And again, you can fit a puck in there. And if you only had two pipes, you could maybe do two pucks. So a lot of a lot of nice little options with this one, and, and not not too expensive. So there you go, Willie. That's that's what I do to carry my pipes if pipes 
if I'm going out making videos or on an overnight trip to a doggy show with the wife. Okay, Willie, I hope that answered your question. That's, uh, those are my two carry options for my pipes. Uh, upcoming on the channel, I still have, I think I have one tobacco left to, uh, first impression from Giuliano. I think I have two or three from Strollin' a Bowl that I have to, first impression, of course, this one and this one which is a Havana, another cigar blend out of their African line. Also coming up, I am started to do some blending with some English tobacco and then throwing in some cigar leaf. So I'm messing around with different, uh, different blends right now. I think I've got one that's pretty good. I've got it in the mini press now and I'm going to see how it comes out and if it comes out as good in the press as it does just mixed in the bowl then I'll be making bigger batches of that. But it's basically 50% cigar leaf and 50% English tobacco. By English, I just mean already commercially available English that's uh, that I would consider a middle of the road English. So you get you get the English components, and then the other half is cigar leaf. And the mix that I did in the jar came out great. Also, I'm. Um, making some pretty decent progress on my Dr. Grabo pipe rack. Throw that little short snippet of that. So that video it will be coming as soon as I finish. All right, so I will keep this video short. I'm gonna relax and enjoy the rest of this wonderful tobacco, and I'll catch you all in the next one. And I'm gonna tell you something right now. There's one guarantee in life, and that there are no guarantees, yeah. And mm -hmm. I understand this. <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes a quitter. Nobody said life was easy. So if you get knocked down, take the standing eight count, get back up and fight again. And you're a macho maniac. Dig it.